We're going to start learning how to tell the time to the nearest minute. If you haven't watched my first three videos on analog time, go back and watch them first. We're going to start by looking at just the minute hand. Then we're going to bring in the hour hand. I made a clock using blue counters to show the minutes past and red counters to show the minutes to. The minutes are grouped into fives which makes things much easier as we don't have to count every minute to work out what the time is. I've made a number line like my clock with blue circles for the minutes past and red circles for the minutes to. For our first one the hand is pointed at just after the five. If we count on from five we can see the hand is pointing at five, six, seven minutes past. If we move the hand along we can see it is now pointed at 20, 21, 22, 23 minutes past. If we look at both of these on a clock we can see it is no different from looking at these on a number line. Here the minute hand is pointing at seven, which means seven minutes past. And here it is pointing at 23 minutes, which means 23 minutes past. Now we're going to bring in the clock showing the hour hand next to the clock showing the minute hand. The hour is pointing just after the two, so we know it will be something past two. The minute hand is pointing at the 11, so this means it is 11 minutes past two. If we look at this with two hands together on one clock, we can see the hour hand is just past the two, and the minute hand is pointing to the 11. So this tells us it is 11 minutes past two. If we look at another one, we can see the hour hand is nearly halfway between the 7 and the 8. So the time must be something past 7. If we look at the minute hand, it is pointing to the 27. So the time must be 27 minutes past 7. If we look at this with the two hands together on one clock, we can see the hour hand is between the 7 and the 8. And the minute hand is pointing to the 27 minutes past, which means it is 27 minutes past 7. We're now going to look at minutes to the hour. The numbers going round the clock keep going up, so they don't really help us so much when we're looking at minutes to the hour. We need to count back in fives to work out minutes to. If we look at our number line, the minute hand is pointing at 5, 10, 11 minutes to. And here it is pointing at 15, 16, 17 minutes to. If we look at our minutes hand on the clock, we can see it is 5, 10, 11 minutes to the next hour. And here it is pointing at 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 minutes to the next hour. If we look at the clock with the hour hand and the clock with the minute hand together, we can see the hour hand is pointing to just before the seven, so we know it must be something minutes to seven. If we look at the minute hand, the minute hand is pointing to six minutes to the hour. So the time must be six minutes to seven. If we look at the two hands together on one clock, we look at the hour hand first, which is just before the seven, and the minute hand, which is showing six minutes to. So the time must be six minutes to seven. If we look at one more, we can see the clock with the hour hand is pointed between the two and the three. So the time must be something minutes to three. If we look at the minute hand, it is pointed at 21 minutes to. So the time must be 21 minutes to three. If we look at the 
two hands together on one clock, we can see the hour hand is pointing between the two and the three. And the minute hand is pointing to, at 21 minutes to. So the time must be 21 minutes to three. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!